Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Julia Thatcher. Caught in the crossfire, an 18-year-old now paralyzed and in the hospital after someone opened fire at a convenience store in South Wichita. KSN's Craig Andrews spoke to the young man's family tonight. It is new at 10. Craig? Yeah, Jeff. One day at a time. Family trying to keep it together after that 18-year-old Chris Hallbrook was shot by a stranger in a parking lot. Now, police say there was a robbery and then someone pulled a gun. Chris didn't know the people involved, but was hit by a bullet in his spine. Today, mom is trying to make sense of it all while keeping the family together. He's strong, but as a mom, I can tell. You just know your kid. You just know when they're overwhelmed. Tiffany says the call was excruciating to hear. Chris shot by strangers while just going into the store to get a soda on his way home the night of June 3rd. I'm overwhelmed with life all the way around. Everything is overwhelming. Chris in rehab now with no use of his legs. Tiffany says doctors have told him he's lucky to be alive after a bullet hit his spine. Meanwhile at home, friends are holding it together for the other four kids while they build a ramp in hopes Chris will eventually be strong enough to come back home. He's holding up. I know it's hard on him. About to have a baby and stuff. He's, but he's being strong, you know. He has to be, especially for his mom too. I know. He, tries to hold it together for his mom. <laughs> Family friend Mackenzie says Chris is still looking forward to welcoming his first child in a few months. First things first, rehab to get out of the hospital and figure out a life that is now so different for the entire family. You just don't want people to know that you're breaking. So put the smile on your face, you crack a joke and go about your day. It's kind of what you do. So Chris did not have full insurance at the time of the shooting, so there is a GoFundMe to help with what the family calls overwhelming hospital bills. Police say the investigation remains active for a suspect or suspects. Here for you, Craig Andrus, KSN News 3.